a very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger here on my way to home and again a complete day at work as you can see there is still snow outside it's also still cold outside I went from home this morning in again some rubber boots which I think was necessary due to the snow nice issue about the shoes uh, the rubber boots is that they have more profile on there than my normal shoes so I had grip in the snow which is always a good thing this time I thought it more through like Yala than last time last time I wore my rubber boots at work all day which was not good this time I took some house shoes with me with a rubber sole and some fabric on top which makes it looks like a shoe so I could get out of my rubber boots in lunch break I went outside and I switched my house shoes for my rubber boots again so I walked in the snow with the rubber boots which was quite nice I didn't get any wet feet and I had the grip without slipping always very nice and now I'm trying to get to home I'm not going to take the long route but I'm going to take a different route than I took this morning see link in the description box for my ride in the darkness and snow to work I did arrive very early at work because well the streets were better and cleaner than I imagined and have had thought Gee. so that's always nice well this part on the road is clean when I would have gone to the left I would have ended up in snow probably this part is cleaned by the municipality works the gemeente with their salt and whatnot it's a route to work to Seneca the only one at least on this part so they have to keep it clean to prevent people from falling good idea this is clean because it would have been a nightmare if this was all snow people would go ridiculously slow and I have to say this morning I walked a little from the bike shed where my bike is stored at home to the Korreweg that is and on the Korreweg I finally got on my bike and went my way I have to say I had thought the Korreweg was more clean the bike lane but it wasn't
and also the other bike lanes were not particularly clean that's why I took the road I drove on the road yes not on the bike lane because there was a small track where I could go but for my feeling way too small so get on the open road and get some speed in then you're not going to bother cars and to my surprise it wasn't very busy so not many cars behind me or not even one actually let's go straight it looks like it's not gonna happen in this area for me so follow direct bike lanes and don't go anywhere where it's snow and slippery fun fact the snow has the same on the border the same color of the bike lane that means the color from the bike lane is transferring to the snow it looks like aka this bike lane is losing its color slowly well let's go to the left So this part is clean now it wasn't very clean when I got it this morning luckily it's okay now when you get when you're busy with your phone on the other hand there was not much room for him also there was a drain cover which was a little bit lower than the bike lane so I predicted that he was surfing around him and he did sure why the teacher in the learner's car did not tell the student to brake earlier and not park the car halfway in the bike lane Someone humming in itself. Mm -hmm. Well, good for him. He heard a song in his head, and that's okay. Well, still cold, having cold fingertips at the moment, and it's still a wide world outside. Well, this night, the night from Wednesday on Thursday, it's going to freeze 12 to 14 degrees or so. A really, really cold night. 
good thing is I don't have to get out of bed tomorrow, at least not early, because of course I was asked to stay home and I gladly replied with a big yes. Well, that took some time to get the stoplight on the good color, green that is. I really couldn't understand the fellow next to me, he was talking on his phone. You probably couldn't either. Well, this is still not a very clean part of the road. It's actually quite dirty and probably slippery, which makes it for me a little bit hard to get from A to B. But do it anyway. Try to get some distance in from the people in front of me because I'm not willing to brake very hard. Braking hard causes my back wheel to lock up and me falling down, which I want to prevent in every way if possible. Well, the clear part of the road again. It's a road that's used by many cars and many people, so it has to be clean and otherwise it will be driven clean. Car adhering to the speed limit. 30k an hour, kilometers that is. Let's see how I'm going to manage to get home. Normally it would take a turn to the left, but let's not do that. Still all covered in snow. Let's take a little longer route. A little more dangerous too, but no ice on there. Stoppy. is in a hurry a good luck with your hurry well thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe to my channel it's totally for free not a comment please do so if you have any questions also do so see you next time and uh, be safe out there and enjoy the snow
Well, that almost went in the pooper. Almost fell down. Well, a little snowy white here. By the way, if you're seeing this, it's a bonus. Little bit of walking. Finally arrived at the bike shed. The famous flowers on there. Last time I got a question about the boots which I was wearing. Well, here they are. Nice green rubber boots. And of course, another one. Little bit of bonus.